crust like this <laughs> mom how do you do crust like this yeah it's from you you leaving already Dewey yes he is well, he, he wasn't messing around this no. morning no we're still here by the fire drinking coffee and we're supposed to be on the road guess where we're going today I know where <laughs> <laughs> we are leaving Union Creek campground Number, number two, two, number two, outside yeah. of Prospect on the Rogue River. And we are going finally to the coast. It's what we came to Oregon for, and we kind of got stuck in in the middle part of Oregon because it's so beautiful. It really is. Just awesome riding, and so we're finally like, okay, we've seen Crater Lake. We got we got to go see the coast now. So that's yeah. where we're going. We actually have a a reserve spot at a state park. Yes, we had said previously that we it, it's a struggle to lock yourself into the way we're traveling to lock yourself into a reservation it's just kind of a struggle unless we plan them all out in a line and we just don't have internet access we do know we're headed to Sunset Bay State Park and that's where we'll be for the next couple days and that's all we know really yeah that's all we know <laughs> well it may take us a month because yeah. it takes us forever to do anything every time you're doing this and you're living this way with the tents and the fire and the, everything takes twice as long. So be prepared for that. Yes. So that's what we've learned today. <laughs> well, let's reiterate again. We, we've got this large tent and set up. It's, it's really a base camp. Yes. We're, we're traveling. I, I, that's, that's the difference I think between us traveling and others traveling is that we're, we're going to a place making it a base camp, yes. exploring the area and then leaving, make setting up another base camp. Yes. Where others are, like the gentleman we met from Arizona the other day, he's all packed for bear and and he he's every day he's moving. So, if you're in your 20s and 30s and 40s, go for it. I'd probably 20s, be 20s, 30s and 40s. <laughs> I'd probably be traveling that way. But we're going to we're going to we're going to pack up here and we're taking the kind of the roundabout way again. We're going to go scenic. into road the scenic route. We're going to go up up around a Roseburg and then over to the coast, over to Coos Bay, instead of dropping down into Medford yes. and going up 101. Well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be riding the entire Rogue Unqua oh, yeah, I scenic about that. drive, which yeah. starts in Prospect, which is where we started, and it goes all the way around Diamond Lake. There's a Tokiti Falls that are supposed to be there, and then it ends in Roseburg. Oh, that's right. So, that's right. yeah, that's the whole scenic drive. So we're actually going to complete that scenic drive today. All right, the other thing that we wanted to talk about was this particular campground. We just want to highly recommend, and there's several campgrounds dotted throughout C here correct. along the Rogue River. Um, secluded, quiet, huge spaces. I mean, you can't see your neighbors, but you can walk on the road and go find people if you're social. And they don't recommend that if your rig is over 28 feet long, they do not recommend that you come back here. So this is more conducive for smaller, smaller camping rigs, rigs and tents. And motorcycles. <laughs> Even, it is a motorcycle channel that we have. Oh, true. So it's for motorcycles. <laughs> Even though oh, wherever we go, we're the only oh, motorcyclists. One, one more thing. Here at this campground, it's Union Creek Campground out of Prospect. If you search Union Creek Campground, Oregon, you're going to get the one out of Baker City, just FYI. That's so, a good one, too. That's a nice one, too. That's where we stayed the first time. Just outside of this campground is a Union Creek Lodge and Becky's Cafe. Oh, yes. Oh, my god. We had the best blueberry pie. Yes. It was the bomb. Yes. It was the bomb. Yeah. And you do highly crust like this. <laughs> Mom? How do you do crust like this? It's nice. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to the locals, man. You hit up a local and they'll tell you all the great places to yes. to go and always. Yeah. It's, all right. Cheers. We'll all see right. uh we'll see you at Sunset Bay. On the coast. Oh, clam chowder. I hear there's good clam chowder around. All right. Trailer's hooked up. We're ready to take off.
All right, Rogue Umqua, Oregon Scenic Byway. That's what we're on. Just left the campground, Union Creek. Mount Bison Viewpoint. It's 82 miles, Chris. I thought for sure there'd be gas out here. Yeah. Well, we'll just take it nice and easy. <laughs> Darn, should have gone back to Prospect and, and filled up. And we're clear. I like posting that. Posting big downhills when they're like that, I could just increase the mileage. Was it, <laughs> was it 79 miles still reserved? Now it's at 82 again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's idle it, you know? Yeah. We'll make it. I'm positive. Sending positive thoughts. The gas station will mystically appear in the middle of the forest. Yeah, with our luck, it'll pop up about 100 feet before I need to turn, and I'll miss it. Uh, well, you'll turn around and come back. <laughs> on where we ate lunch. <laughs> uh -huh. This is going to rate high on our list of where we ate lunch. We made it to Sunset Bay State Park in Coos Bay on the coast in Oregon. We're here. We made it. And we have a little bit of learning that we still have to do. We learn on every adventure that we go on. Mm -hmm. And here's what we learned. We made these reservations online because we knew specifically what day we wanted to be here. Mm -hmm. And I put in the parameters that we are and we need a tent, tent. accommodation. So, so there's a box and it says tent, motor home. RV, you know, different type of trailers and stuff you had, and we selected tent. Yes, and it came up with two sites available. We looked at those two sites on the map, and we said, oh, let's pick this one in relationship well, to where it was with the right. bathroom. Because it was close to the bathroom, and it has a shower. Yes. So we get here. And I guess we, you have to drill down deeper and actually pull up the specific site that you choose and look at the dimensions of that site and see what it accommodates because you might have, we said tent, but actually the site behind us is not, does not accommodate tents. It even says that in the website when you dig in a couple pages, it says, <laughs> it says not accommodating for tents, small RV. So if you can see us behind us, We've taken up all of the grass space with our tent. Yes. With Taj. We, we actually had to remove the picnic table over to the onto parking the, area. Onto the parking area. <laughs> but anyway, we're making the best of a situation. Mm -hmm. it, the, the thing I wanted to point out is every campsite that we find and we use, there's always something that we have to... Um, Compromise. compromise. We have to compromise, and that's. Mm -hmm. And if you go into this, you have to understand that. Otherwise, you're it, you're going to get upset, and it's always something that is lower than your expectation. You but know? just keep in mind that there's things you're going to love about wherever you're camping, and there's things that you're not going to love. And you need to focus on the things that you love, so that you can get the most out of your trip, your vacation, your experience, your adventure, whatever it whatever is. Whatever you're doing. Anyway, we are gonna. We're here for a couple days. 
place. We're going to explore the area, see what we what trouble we can get ourselves into. Yeah. Oh, one thing I wanted to say about this site. This is a state park, and if you have the state park um, pass or the state park, you buy a spot here in in the state park. The botanical gardens are free, oh, and they're yes. right up the they're right up the road yes. from here. Yes, yeah. that's where we're going. All right. All right. See you on the road. See you. Okay. And some homemade nine grain sourdough bread. Okay. We bought albacore tuna. Yes. Some fresh pieces, and I got it spiced with um, pepper, ginger, um, and some salt, a little bit of salt. Getting ready to pan sear this. Uh, here's the broccoli. Chopping broccoli. <laughs> Gotta get the finger. I know where this finger's been. One pound of fish feels really heavy. I know. Where's the, the tongs? The table is set. <laughs> Just wait for food. All right, we're going to enjoy this lovely meal. Mm -hmm. We did. Isn't that awesome? We made it to the ocean the and we're going to stick our foot in it. Yes, we are. Foot is going in. I don't know about the rest of me, but no. <laughs> just a foot. Richard fixes my tank bag. We are gonna go do some exploring today. Yay! Yep, get out of the campsite and go check some things out. I'm excited. I know we just got just found out there's two really cool waterfalls not far from here, about 20 miles. Golden Falls and Silver Falls. Yes. So we're gonna try to find those today too, along with some wildlife. And check out the Shady Acres, Shore Acres. Oh, Check yeah, out Shore, shore acres, acres and some botanical garden. Um, our little okay. mini adventure turned into a big adventure. Yeah. We're just gonna follow the poor guy down the hill. Yeah, well, he's he's got it over here. He's got us backed up. He's he's thinking of us. You're good. at the state park where we were at Sunset Bay State Park said you got to go check out Golden and Silver Falls so this is 
the first glimpse of Silver Falls. Yes, and it's not to be missed. It is awe-inspiring. Yeah, we haven't even been to the viewpoint yet. And you know what the best thing is? I... There's no people here. Oh yeah, there is. There's very <laughs> it's, little. It's very little. One of those little known places. down there. Richard's already went that way. Billy Goat is up the path and I guess I need to follow him. Don't know if you can see, but Richard's wandering down there. There he goes. Sweet. Mmm. It's like candy. Oh. Uh. I mean, there's... So we're here at Thor's Hole. I'm sorry. I kept calling it Thor's Hole, but it's not. It's Thor's Well. It sounds way better than Thor's Well. It's, it's, so we made it to Thor's Well. <laughs> and it's a hole in the ocean, actually in all this volcanic rock that spews water up with the mud. Yeah, and it's low tide now, but it's still very impressive. Right, you can see. us or behind you over there I think it, that's the devil's chair you can hear it early 1900s by Lewis J. Simpson. Built a three-story mansion on the bluff north of here. Oh my god. 